If you're checking out the Fringe Festival this weekend, you can catch the Saints of British Rock. We have them in the studio right now. Uh, it, it says Manchester. Are they talking about the football team in here? Never been defeated, Manchester? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. I mean, it's the greatest football team in the entire world, man. The boys in red. <laughs> what, what, what did he say the other day? $2.12 billion is what they're worth, though? The uh, richest sports franchise in all of sports. Oh, That's really? Not, bad. Yeah. No, not only is they the most wealthy, they also are the most talented and incredibly blooming dashing and things, man. <laughs> blooming Manchester United. That's really inspired me to write this tune, man. No, <laughs> quick roll call for, uh, for those that don't know. You guys are going to be checking you guys out at the French Festival this weekend. What are your names and uh, your roles in the band? Oi, me name is Jib from Braffitts. Yeah, my name is Rocco Hercules Summershire, the greatest rock and roll musician in the world, man. <laughs> I like it already. Nice title, yeah. Now, you, you know, you guys are just the two-piece, two-piece rock and roll acts? Uh, well, me's on lead bass, plus we've got re- three rock and roll squires, yeah? So me's got me bass squire, and he's got his blooming rock and roll guitar squire, plus we've got this drummer, Theodore, who's quite brilliant on the drums. Yeah. All right, so you guys are performing. Let's get to, let's get the dates out real quick. Uh, where are you performing, and when? When can guys? When, when can everyone catch you? Well, we're performing at the London West End Cultural Centre. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, on Ellis yep. Street. We start- and we're there every night at eight thirty. Yeah. Okay, but you've got to be there at least around mm-hmm. like eight or something. <laughs> yeah, they make us show up at like seven. Yeah, we're we're going to be there at seven if anyone else is there, but. <laughs> Hopefully people should be showing up around 8. What kind of show can people expect when they come check you guys out? Because you, you do look very funky this morning. You got the, you're rocking the afro and the fur blue coat. And this stuff. is called the Zedwick. It's, it's, okay, it's a yeah. mythical beast. It's a mythical thing. It was, a, it was passed down from King Arthur himself through like three or four different generations and things. So, you know, it's, it's quite a rock and roll thing, actually. Wow. Like King Arthur slayed the mighty Zedwig with his sword Excalibur and was passed down through the generations and turn, turned the bloom and hide of the blooming animal into this coat right here and Rocco ended up with it. It's quite quite an interesting story, but it's a story for another time. It's quite long. Yeah, it's quite long and interesting. <laughs> how, did, how, how did the band get together? I have to know the story. Right, I'll tell you the whole, the whole thing. So me was blooming, when me was a little bloke in, in London, right, me was a young, young man, me was doing loads and loads of rock and roll and things. Me had a raw rock and roll sound, right? Me was doing me thing, you know, top of the pops in London, everything like that. But me, me, it wasn't quite enough, you know. We'd reached a point, we needed to go past it. And, you know, me needed a bass player, right? Mm. And in London, we have got a saying, if you need a bass player, you go to Bruffitt's. So I did. <laughs> so I went down to the pub in Bruffitt's, and I saw this bloke playing the most brilliant bass he's ever heard in my whole life, man. And he was singing brilliant lyrics. My me, me mind was bloody blown, man. Like, what, what, what is happening right now, man? <laughs> so afterwards, me goes up to the bloke, right? Me punch him in the face three times. He, he bought three punch- Rockwell Wales. He punched me in the face three times. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, see, it's been British tradition, man. You go into the pub. This is how, this is how every all your greatest friends has ever met, right? You go into the pub. You go, oi! You, oh, you was drinking loads and loads of ales and things, and you was getting into a fight with all these blokes, right? And after the fight, we, we was blooming all getting together, and we was having loads and loads of ales, and we was best mates, man. Yeah. Is it's, that how the Beatles got together? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Punchy <laughs> face fight? <laughs> jo- John Lennon went up to George McCartney and punched him in the face three times, and then they blooming started a rock and roll band. Man. Wow. No, it's part of history. Look it up in the history books. <laughs> no, I gotta, we got to talk influences. Obviously, the Saints of British Rock got to be influenced by some British rock, I'm guessing. Well, actually, me's quite influenced by Mozart, man. Okay. You know, me's, me's an incredibly original artist, man. Me, me, only, me only does my own things, man. I would you know, have never so guessed that. No. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we's, play, we's playing all of our own instruments, man. Yeah, we, we, we do all of our own things. And, like, you know, like the monkeys, the Beatles, we's playing our own instruments and things, man. So, like, that's really where my influence comes from is his music, man. Yeah. And, Ro- I mean, me, me's got to say, Rocco, is, he's quite an inspirational bloke. You know, one one time we was in a pub and we was watching football, yeah, Manchester United, and I was just thinking, you know, this team is never going to be blooming bloody defeated, man. <laughs> and, uh, that, and that's the, the tune, man. That's the song we got right here. All right. And they never have. Never defeated mm-hmm. Manchester United. You can catch their show again, 8.30 at the West End Cultural Centre on Ellis. You guys are there every night throughout the entire French Fest. Every night, man. Every single night, just doing loads and loads and loads of sex, loads of drugs, and loads and loads of rock and roll. It's a brilliant time. It's brilliant. Well, you're in the right part of town. <laughs> yeah. The Saints of British Rock catch them at the Fringe Fest. You get, tell me you guys have a website that people can go check out. Yeah, you can check out www.thesaintsofbritishrock.com. 
Com. Very good. <laughs> check out the website. Check out the show at the Fringe Fest. It's going on all week long. West End Cultural Center on Ellis. Be there around 7, though, because it's going to be a lineup, right? Oh, it's going to be out, out the door, man. Uh, out the way. Out, out the door, around, around the, the corner. Bro- around the corner. Fruit, fruit, fruity alleyway, man, where we're, where we're doing most of our drugs. 